Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sell on Walmart online. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, how do we actually start selling in Walmart? Well, selling in Walmart is actually pretty easy, but also kind of complicated. Now the sign up process and filling out all the information is somewhat pretty easy because you just need to look for the correct links. But in this case, the long term and the approval process is somewhat strict and it might be uh, kind of hard. But in this case, how do we access the uh, seller link for Walmart? Well, first things first, go to walmart.com and from here, what you need to do is you need to go to the very bottom of their webpage until you see the footer section. In this case, in the footer, what we need to do is we need to look for the option or link that says sell on Walmart. So go ahead and click on it. Now, it should open up a new tab here, which in this case, you should be redirected into Walmart Marketplace. Now, in this section, what we need to do is we need to look for the button that says join Marketplace. Now, typically, it's going to be at the very center here or at the top right of your screen. Now, once you click on it, it should redirect you to another tab again, which in this case is going to ask you if you are US based. Now, other countries can also apply like Canada and India, but in this case, let's go and click on keep going. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you to first create your account. So that includes inputting or adding the following details. That includes your name, the legal business that you have, your tax ID, country region of incorporation, your business email address, your business phone, as well as a password that you want to use. Now, in this case, you need to also agree and read the terms of Walmart Marketplace, Walmart Fulfillment Service, and Walmart Ad Center. Now, in this case, they are required that you read through that because in this case, there are going to be certain restrictions that, uh, that Walmart actually apply here. Like, for example, you're not, uh, you're not allowed to sell dangerous goods on your store. Now, in this case, uh, what are the best businesses to actually apply for Walmart? Well, uh, applying to a Walmart Seller Center or being a seller in Walmart, you at least should have a stable, uh, stable, or you should have a twelve month, uh, months of sales. So meaning, uh, you are an established business and you've already have twelve months, or you've already established your um company or your store, uh, within the twelve months, and you already have a bunch of sales. So you're pretty stable as of this moment. Now, also, uh, it is also good for uh, established uh, businesses. Now, in this case, uh, it's more consistent, especially if your brand is quite known or fairly known. It's uh, go going to actually be beneficial for you because you'll be able to reach more because of the channels Walmart actually can reach. Now, in this case, you should also have at least 10 or a minimum of 10 SKUs, just a precaution that so that you'll be able to you'll be able to, you'll be able to succeed within Walmart here. Now, also, uh. Brands that is too expensive might not sell well in Walmart. And uh, in this case, if you're selling expensive goods, it's not a great idea to sell in Walmart because Walmart is all about uh, saving and as well as uh, necessities for uh, shoppers. Now, in this case, uh, there are going to be additional details that they may they might ask you, like for example, provide providing some IDs, or proof of verification, and whatnot. But in this case, once you've created your account and uh, basically submit your submit uh, application, so that includes your documentation for your business and whatnot, you will be able to uh, basically wait or wait for the. Uh, outcome of your application so this might take around one day to four weeks so depending on how many of people are actually uh, applying right now or their queue but in this case you should be able to receive news from them now they are kind of tight with the application for us for building being a uh, seller in walmart here so in this case it is suggested that you're a well-established business you already have proofs of uh, sales in the last 12 months as well as 10 skus and your products uh, go ahead and just provide any details that they might request you but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.